What's going on guys? My name is Jared. Welcome back to another episode of Preneur Crossover, the basketball show for the Philippine community. Joining me today is Mr. Marky Mark with a scarf because it is really, really cold outside <laughs> now. How are you feeling, man? Feeling sick, but I'm here, man. Yeah, right crossover. Right. I know, it's that time of the season. But make sure you get your flu shots. Also joining us today, returning guest, Dwayne. Coach Dwayne, how you doing, man? Good, man. Good, man. Good. Just cold but good man yeah cold i got the sweater on <laughs> got the tech lease on i know it's very cold outside <laughs> um, before we get into Dwayne, uh don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts at panor cross or on twitter facebook and instagram also subscribe to us on youtube channel um Dwayne, it's, been, it's been a minute yeah. uh what have you been up to you, i know you're still coaching yeah and what have, you, what have you been doing lately? I know you been, we talked earlier, we coached your uh, son recently. Yeah, so I coached my, um, right now an assistant coach for my son's uh, IAM uh, OBA team mm -hmm. for uh, novice U10. Mm -hmm. But they're actually nine, so they we're playing a year up. Mm -hmm. So we just came back from a tournament and we finished uh, two and two. So wow. it's pretty good. Like uh, mm -hmm. the, the kids just worked hard. They uh, mm -hmm. played their hearts out. and. We pull up a couple of upsets, which is uh, which is pretty impressive, and I'm happy for the kids. Mm -hmm. They're just going out there playing the game right. that they love. Well, what were some of the challenges that you had to occur, uh, to occur like when when you deal with like these younger kids playing against like older kids? Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's the thing, right? So when I like I, I'm transition, I'm in a transition mode now. I'm used mm -hmm. to coaching like men's leagues, mm -hmm. the open division. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to you're, now you're going to kids, so like you gotta keep reminding them get. Get, 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 keep yelling, get, get their attention. Mm -hmm. And the thing is too, the, like the parents, the, it's a loud environment, so you have to like scream. And I've like, yeah. Yeah, I've lost yeah, my voice. Yeah, it, it wore me down. <laughs> Especially Filipino lie. moms, yeah. Yeah, it wore me down. Like, mm -hmm. it wore me down, it, just yelling the kids, hey, hands up, hey, run mm -hmm. back. Or is reminding the defense and stuff. Just reminding mm -hmm. the defense, mm -hmm. just reminding where like they run the plays, where to be, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. It was, it's, it's different with, and when we're coaching men, they know where to be. So you just call it the play, they'll just set it up and then mm -hmm. they'll just run. But when you're coaching kids, it's a challenge, but I love it because it's mm -hmm. the like the environment and yeah. they're, they're, they're eager to learn and they're eager to listen and they're willing to listen. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's been, it's fun coaching these uh, nine-year-old kids. Yeah. How's, how's your approach usually, the difference between when you're coaching men's team or you're coaching um, kids, but how is your approach different from you know? Between okay, the so two? yeah, good, good, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, so my approach, uh, well, one, I gotta tone down the language. So mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no swearing. <laughs> no swearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you can't. No, no, can. no swearing on that one. So, but yeah, but you, I, I'm trying to like, well, it's more teaching. So like teaching like the more the fundamentals, the basics, like 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 you're teaching from scratch. So mm -hmm. you're just teaching each kid like how to like. Do a, a simple triple threat position or simple dribble, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Uh, that's what me, and just the, my approach to them is just not to yell and just to like more like just to teach them and like mm -hmm. correct them mm -hmm. um, and ha and make them make them love the game of show them like to make them love the game of basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's that's my that's just pretty much my approach in coaching coaching mm -hmm. kids. I'm mm -hmm. making sure they love it and enjoy the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking, I mean, coaching, I mean, you mentioned to us that you recently faced against, you know, we had someone last week yeah. that, um, that that just got an overnight viral sensation yeah. player with Zach, like, and you said that you played against him. How yeah. was it like, you know, having a team placing against a player like his, you know, capability uh, and his skill set? Which is, uh, his skill set is a little bit higher yeah. already yeah, than Zach, most of us. Yeah, Zach, at, uh, what is he, 10? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, two th like it's a 2008 kid. Zach is he's like he plays like a 13, 14 year old kid. <laughs> like he's got like the like the handles. Like um, I like I've never seen him. like I've been I coached that age back like 10 years ago, and I never seen a kid as skilled as Zach like mm -hmm. at that time. Like he's just he's unbelievable. Like we had to like literally press up up on him like full court. Mm -hmm. And he still like literally beat, beat us. Like he'll beat us down the court. Wow. And the thing is with Zach, he's unselfish. Mm -hmm. He loves to he, like he trusts his teammates. If his teammates misses, mm -hmm. he he'll tap his team on the back. Hey, don't worry. Let's get it back. Let's get it back in defense. Let's work hard. Mm -hmm. Like that's maturity right there for a for mm -hmm. a ten year old kid. Yeah, that's like that's pretty maturity. Fun. Like you you don't you don't see that from a lot of kids these these days. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it's unbel it's unreal. Like mm -hmm. he's he's a great kid. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I hope the best for him in the future because he's a, he's a tough kid. Like, mm -hmm. he's a tough kid. He, he plays with a lot of heart, and mm -hmm. uh, 
He works hard both ends of the both ends of the court, mm -hmm. and he's gonna be a he's gonna be a he's gonna be a tough uh, tough cover and a tough matchup in in the Filipino mm -hmm. leagues, the OBAs. He's gonna be yeah. he's any, gonna any be, tournament that's coming any up. Any tournament coming up, yeah, exactly. and you gotta watch he's out for everywhere. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. Um, So you recently you talked about how uh, you were both coaching kids kids leagues and men's leagues. Yeah. What's the transition like between knowing making sure that you know you're, you're making sure you're having the correct sets for the kids and the men's? Yeah. I know it, 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 there's a big difference, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. With but the, but you have to like a balance between what is what is right, what is wrong for the, both both leagues. Yeah. So with the kids, so what I do is just I pretty much like simplify it. Mm -hmm. I just simplify the game. Just make it just make it easy for them. Just make make sure they just understand just keep just keep it simple like keep the fundamentals more like teaching fundamentals like okay. staying away from the bad habits and like uh like more like passing dribbling like mm -hmm. just just the fundamentals of the game of basketball yeah. as opposed to men you're more teaching like sets like all right when we play this team we gotta we gotta like watch out for this guy like let's let's adjust our defense more of like in-game adjustments mm -hmm. with kids it's more of all right just learn teaching them how to play like man to man where to be, mm -hmm. uh, just keep reminding them um, like where to position themselves on the court. So it's a, it's 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 two different uh, two different like uh, aspects of, of right. basketball. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I want to get some last advice for you for Filipinos out there that are coaching you know kids, uh, tykes, whichever one. Like, what would your advice for them for upcoming coaches or dads that yeah. would have? Kids, future that they want to coach. What are your advice for them? Yeah, just be patient and uh, be patient and be positive. Um, mm -hmm. Like, let them in, like show the, like let them love the game of basketball. Mm -hmm. um, have them, let them like develop them. Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, have them play in the game. Put them in. Put them in. Give them minutes. Like at that age, you don't want to sit them down. Like uh, they want to play. Just let them. Let them learn. Like. Let them learn from mistakes, so at least they'll they'll grow and get, become better players. And it's just it's about patience and being positive, and that's that's all that's all it is. Um, that's yeah. what I that's what I recommend because at the end of the day, the kids will look up to you and they'll they'll follow you and they'll they'll listen. So mm -hmm. it's it's good it's good it's good to 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 do those uh, aspects and follow those steps. Yeah, we gotta learn all that, and you know, it's it's fun to be a coach. I I seen you coach, and yeah. look, you, you're doing a great job, you know. And yeah. I've seen him coach in the on point league a few a few months ago. Yeah. So it's very exciting to see what you're doing for the community as well.